Hey everybody, it's Glenn back in this video with a toy rewind that winds the clock back to the Age of Apocalypse. Or 1992 or thereabouts if you prefer. Of course with the X-Men Apocalypse movie now just around the corner, what better time than now to reflect and reminisce upon action figures of the character gone by. And so reading from the card back, the megalomaniacal mutant villain known as Apocalypse believes that total war between humans and mutants is inevitable. In order to weed out those he feels are weak and unsuitable for the coming conflict, he manipulates mutants into battling one another, calculating that with the help of the strongest and most ruthless survivors, he can conquer the world and become ruler of all, both man and mutant. Then the card back also pictures action figures from the X-Men X-Force line, including Deadpool, who I featured in both a previous Toy Rewind and his very own action figure Evolution. Yep, Scabcat242, it's hard to believe in light of his big hit Hollywood movie that there was a time all those years ago that Deadpool was just about as famous as Gideon or GW Bridge. Then pictured below X-Force are some of the X-Men themselves, and needless to say, without the rose-tinted glasses of nostalgia, quite a few of these don't stand the test of time, and in that regard we're about to see how all these years later this apocalypse accounts for itself. Ooh, I'm reminded I have that strong guy tucked away somewhere. I should dig it out. Plus we get an official Marvel Universe trading card and here it is, Hulk versus Trauma. I'd read that to you but nah, pause now to read it at your own leisure because I'm not much of a Hulk comic fan and after reading the first sentence I lost the will to live. It pictures the Hulk twatting Trauma on a fancy hologram card no less. Back in the 90s getting a hologram card I acted like I'd been given NASA grade technology. So here he is out of packaging and nigh on 25 years later. I don't think I'm biased by sentiment when I'm saying he's not looking too bad. Sure, figures of this period are totally in the shadow of the much more modern Marvel Legends, but there's some nice 90s comic book flair going on in the proportions here with those big, broad shoulders. And of course he has those signature pipes that inexplicably connect his lower back to his arms. Were those ever given a reason for being? I don't think so. And unless you can come up with a reason in the comments below, I'm going to call it and say that they're most likely a symptom of 90s comic art and character designs being what they were just because an artist thought they were cool. Really, any positives borne out by this action figure result from this being, as trumpeted on the packaging, the second edition of the character. The first came just two years prior on the left of the screen here, and side by side like this will more likely get you singing the praises of the second one. As for me, I take its design and release as Toy Biz shaking their head and saying, what were we thinking when it came to this first one, as that one has the look of being made by someone who's never actually seen the character, and was only briefly explained what he looked like over the phone, then ran out of coins to feed the payphone halfway through the call. Yeah kids, payphones, that was as good as technology got back when these action figures came out. Plus what this second one has that the first one lacked is transforming weapon arms. <laughs> So there, weapon arms, or arms to do a few odd jobs around the house, put up a bookshelf maybe. But I doubt Apocalypse would sully himself with such menial task, that is why of course he employs four horsemen, war, famine, pestilence, and Olivia Munn. But I digress, his first weapon arm is a saw come drill come pointy stabby thing? Then his second weapon arm is a gripping, vice-like hand. With that, I can surely see Apocalypse crushing Professor X's head like a grape. While poor Archangel has to come in and mop old Charlie's brains up off the floor. Anyway, if you're in on an Apocalypse action figure evolution, then give this video a big thumbs up. Click this video if you missed the previous episode of Toy Rewind featuring Colossus. And I hope to see you all next time. Mm, bye.